Everyone knows that Ben Carson's greatest medical achievement was successfully separating two conjoined newborn twins. Fewer people know that one of those twins was Ben Carson himself. <laughs> Tonight, 64 years later, we reunite those twins in a Daily Show exclusive debate. <laughs> to the first ever Carson Twins reunion debate. <laughs> Our speakers tonight, former presidential candidate, Dr. Ben Carson. <laughs> and his estranged identical twin brother, Dr. Ken Carson. Thank you, Desi. Please to be You know what, let's just get right into it. My first question. Now, you have both publicly endorsed Donald Trump for president. What do you think would be the most positive aspect of a Donald Trump presidency? Ben Carson, you go first. I think the most positive aspect would be having somebody who's not controlled by special interests and big money. Uh, excuse me, I, I would prefer a chance to answer this question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Dr. Carson? So sorry, I was blinking. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Uh, Donald Trump. You've said that even if he's a bad president, we'll only have him for four years. Oh, yes, indeed. Four years is not very long at all. It's barely enough time for me to count to 10. <laughs> One. 1.1. <laughs> okay, on to the next question. Uh, now, you've both said that Obamacare is the worst thing since slavery. Dr. Ben Carson, could you explain that comparison? I could indeed. Uh, that was early on before it became clear that if you say things in a certain way, people can't hear what you're saying. And that's why I don't say it that way anymore. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, it does fundamentally change the relationship between the government and the people. Because the, f the way this country was designed is people are the ones who are supposed to be in charge, <laughs> not the government coming along and saying, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Ken Carson. And I believe Obamacare is much worse than slavery. <laughs> At least under slavery, if you liked your slave, you could keep your slave. <laughs> Wait, come to think of it, that was kind of the problem. I apologize. <laughs> Next question is for you, Dr. Ben Carson. You're a surgeon, sworn to do no harm, but also a fierce advocate for gun rights. Do you feel that guns should have more safety measures? Guns already have a lot of safety measures. The real question is, do we believe in the Constitution and in the Second Amendment and the right to keep and to bear arms? And if we do, we will find the appropriate safety measures for them. I believe we need to ask ourselves, why do we place so many restrictions on guns? Uh, they let you do anything you want with a knife. <laughs> That's pretty much my whole job. <laughs> See a patient get in there, knife around a little bit. Turns out all they had was a cold. <laughs> Whoops. That well, is... you can see why he's the evil twin. <laughs> he's a cut up. <laughs> but a twin nonetheless. <laughs> Simply horrifying. Uh, this question is for Dr. Ken Carson. Who is a personal hero of yours? I would say my personal hero is Snuggles the Laundry Bear. <laughs> I aspire to one day be that comfy. Dr. 
Ben Carson. <clears throat> my personal hero would be my mother who absolutely had the worst life anybody could imagine, but refused to be a victim and refused to allow us to be victims as well. Uh, I would like to change my answer to that one <laughs> as well, please. So I don't look like an ass. <laughs>